Hi, I'm Philip Meeks. I'm Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources with Virginia Cooperative Extension here in Wise County, Virginia. And it's November 1st as I record this video, and we're approaching the season for when we'd want to make tree syrup, at least here in Wise County. Uh, in this county, uh, January and February is the time we want to tap those trees. Um, and usually that flow is over by the end of February. So this short video is going to be for those of you who've never made your own syrup before, and perhaps you have a few trees in your yard that you'd like to tap and you'd like to try your hand at syrup making. We won't talk about tubing systems and so forth. Uh, we can give you information on that, but we'll just focus on a simple bucket system as far as this video is concerned. Um, the system is going to work with any of the maples. So if you have a silver maple, a red maple, a sugar maple on your property that you'd like to tap, even box elders, which are technically maples, those can be tapped and make a, a very good syrup. Uh, black walnuts can be tapped. Uh, this system will also work with birch trees, although the season for tapping birch is a little later than for the other trees. So you're looking at mid-March if you want to make birch syrup. You can also make syrup from sycamores and from beech trees, but normally what's recommended with those species is going to be some type of vacuum system, not just a bucket uh, like we're going to show you here. So, uh, so the vacuum system is really no big deal, but if you have sycamores and beeches and you want to make syrup from those, and that's going to be a, a slightly different process. So we're going to launch into that video right here. This is a silver maple that's on the front lawn of the extension office. A tree this size you could put two taps into, but we're just going to do one for demonstration purposes. And you want to use a 5 16th inch drill bit. These taps are very inexpensive uh, from 19 cents to 25 cents each. Not very much at all. Then you need a, a length of tubing to run from the, the spout into the bucket. Uh, the bucket should be something that's food grade. It could be a recycled ice in bucket or, or something new. And you want to angle the drill slightly up and you only want to go one and three quarters to two inches deep. You want to make sure that all the sawdust is cleaned out uh, as best as possible. And then you would just tap that spout into the, the hole you've created. Not very deep, just enough to make sure that the, the sap doesn't leak. And then you put the other end into the bucket. And as we start to have those freezing nights and warmer days in January and February, uh, the sap will, will begin to fill that bucket up. So tree syrup is a, is a low cost, enjoyable activity during the winter months. Uh, so I encourage you to give it a try. And we didn't talk in this video about the process and boiling that down. We can give you more information on that later. But uh, want to at least concentrate on the collection of the sap, which is, is obviously step one. So you have questions about tree syrup making or, or other um, activities that relate to, to forestry, natural resources, or agriculture, please give us a call here at the Extension Office and WISE at 276-328-6194. Thank you.